What's up guys? Listen, I wanted to just uh, give you guys a uh, quick video on what I'm using for shelter. This is the British Basha. It is a standard um, issue item to the British military and it's also in use by some other European militaries uh, to this day. It is basically a giant tarp, right? Made of ripstop nylon and uh, it's, just, um, it's just awesome. Why? Because first of all, it is flexible. It's extremely easy to set up and there's a billion different configurations with it because um, let's face it, I know that uh, maybe you growing up as a kid, you might have gone backpacking with your family or maybe you do backpacking now and you, and you use a tent, right? Tents are great, but um, I remember from my childhood on the two, three day backpacking uh, trips that we would go on, we'd have to find like the perfect spot to set up the tent and then there would always be the struggle with the poles and getting them to fit through the loops and getting them to bend right and uh, there's usually a few curse words thrown in there here and there. So. Um, you know, that's kind of the downside to the tent is there's lots of pieces and parts to it. It usually takes two people to set up and, um, you know, it's nice to have other options out there. So it was a couple years back, I, I uh, started running into some people online who were using these. I bought one, one to check it out and I haven't looked back since. So anyways, I just want to give you guys a uh, quick overview of this and uh, maybe give you guys the incentive to go buy one, try it out for yourself. So let's have a look. Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you how this is run out. I got these uh, old school US Army issue metal stakes here. These things are awesome, especially here in Tennessee when there's lots of rock, you know, six inches, eight inches under. You just go ahead and use these stakes. It'll cut through any sort of um, branches and roots and bypass rocks, no problem. So what I've done here is I got an attachment point there. I got the other attachment point right there. And you see, I got a bungee cord and a bungee cord right there running out to attach the rain fly. Now, you see, there's a grommet there, grommet there, pull tab here. So, you could obviously make some other attachments, pull them out further, but this, is, this, this works good. This is nice and taut, it's perfect for me. And um, you can go around the back here and have a look. You got two more grommets here and here, another pull tab, and then the same thing in the back except I have obviously run this down tighter and I got the stakes secured with some paracord and the same thing back here and then of course see more grommets another grommet here another pull tab there so you know you can pull this out if you want up here is what's really cool is there's another attachment point right here so you can actually set this up kind of like a pop-up if you imagine having this laid out flat on the ground staked out with a little bit of clearance and then you attach a bungee cord or a piece of paracord and pull this directly up to the tree so you kind of have like a mini teepee that you can crawl up under so that's nice and it's a very low profile and then of course on this side you got the same thing going on you got grommets grommets another pull tab and then i have this attached up here like so and the same thing back there and then the thing that's really cool, something I haven't done yet because I just haven't seen any saplings around here that were flexible and bendable enough for me to do this, is if you look up underneath here, you'll see that you can actually have other options going on here. Other pull tabs here and uh, other points for attachment. So, te so technically I've seen what some people have done is they have used these points on the inside to go ahead and um, to go ahead and uh, basically make a dome with this, putting the saplings up underneath in a bendable kind of shape, and it works out really well for them. So, um, you know, like I said, there's tons of different configurations you can use on this. Uh, it's very flexible and uh, fairly cheap for the price. I think I've maybe paid about 60, 70 for this ship from the UK, and uh, it's worked out great for me. So, I just wanted to uh, show you guys real quick what I'm using for shelter. Maybe it gives you guys some ideas and uh, some other options outside of using a tent or building a primitive shelter, which we all know does not take 15 minutes like you see on TV. It's a labor-intensive process, and unless you absolutely have to or you're just having fun out there and you feel like building some big primitive shelter, go with a quick and easy setup like this and use your time and your calories to do other tasks that uh, are, prob are probably going to pay off a lot better than setting up the primitive shelter. So anyways, that's the British Basha. It's in DPM camo. 
check it out, pick one up, try it out, and uh, see what you think about it. So until next time, I appreciate you guys watching the channel. You know the deal. Share, share it with your friends. Like the videos, comment, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, feel free to critique it, 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 you know, anything I do. I, I'm absolutely not afraid to have constructive criticism. Um, I'm open because, I, you know, I'm just out here doing my thing. I haven't learn from any experts this is just kind of me learning as i go so any sort of uh you know constructive critique criticism suggestions comments bring them on and uh until next time i'll talk to you guys later